Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of JavaScript shorthand techniques. Today we are going to learn about the arrow function shorthand. So let's get started. Those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. So let's see how the arrow function shorthand will work. <clears throat> so first one that is implicit return. If the arrow function has only one expression in its body, you can omit the curly braces and return the keyword. So previously what we do is const multiply function x, y and it will return the this one. Okay. So how we can reduce this one? You can just choose const multiply x and y <coughs> arrow operator then x into y. <coughs> Reducing the two three lines of code into one. So arrow function express with implicit return. Okay. So next we have a single parameter. <coughs> right. If the arrow function has only one parameter you can omit the parenthesis right so definitely same here if the if it is single parameter then we can omit the parenthesis right so we can definitely return this one if x then x into x so here parenthesis can be removed okay if there is no parameters if the arrow function does not take any parameter you need to include empty parenthesis right so here you can write the empty parenthesis parenthesis and you return this hello world you can use this one as arrow function expression with no parameters screed and just return the hello world okay lexical this <coughs> arrow functions does not have their on this keyword instead they use this value of the enclosing context the function that contains the arrow functions this makes the particularly useful for the callbacks even handler let's take an example first so you can see that I have taken an object okay where name is equal to John and here I am just creating a function where I am passing the reference this dot name okay so this is a traditional function expression so here the name will come over here right the greet would be the hello my name is this one it will print if I go and just copy this one okay and write it over here and here you can see that console dot if I go and just log the console dot log person console dot log and here i will log the person okay so let's see <laughs> greet should we have the values name and the greet should be the greet okay so if i open and you can see that the greet has a function okay and is it has the arguments and the name is here you can see that greet and the name is greet okay so it will call this function right and if I go with the shorthand function arrow functions you can see that so greet console.log my name is this one let's try this one also okay so console.log person enter so here the same thing name is greet right so this is the arrow function that expression with the lexical this so whenever uh, this is like you know uh, this is ECMA 6 uh, all of the shorthands part are the part of the ECMA 6 in the uh, like if you, it is like vanilla JavaScript or something it will not going to work like in the, it, it will work with the react TypeScript angular such kind of thing ECMA 6 part will work on that part right so these are you can see that shorthand arrow functions you can use with the one-liner and it's very easy very simple okay <clears throat> so you can omit such kind of things like return this one function parenthesis and all in a one-liner short form with the help of the arrow functions <clears throat> any doubt any query in that let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video have a great day